everyone. I'm Anissa, and I'm going to walk through a demo today of three Snowflake features, Snowflake Notebooks, Snowflake Cortex, and Streamlit. For this demo, we're pretending to be the data science team at a ski gear manufacturing company called Ski Gear Co. Our machine learning team has been tasked in helping understand why we've had a big spike in customer calls lately. We just started shipping equipment for the winter season, and we want to make sure we quickly resolve any issues. We have transcripts of all these calls available, so we're ready to get started. First, I just need to explore our data. For that, I'm going to use a Snowflake notebook, which just launched into private preview. This will allow me to use SQL, Python, and Markdown to work with and visualize the data all inside of SnowSight. Using SQL, I see we have a few fields, including the language and the call transcript itself. Because I can also use Python, I can create plots inside this notebook to quickly identify patterns in the data. From this summary here, I can see most calls are coming in from Germany. I am not fluent in German. So to quickly check some of this data, I want to translate these transcripts to English. I can do this with one of the LLMs available from Snowflake Cortex, currently in private preview, which offers access to industry-leading AI models, LLMs, and vector search functionality. All it takes is a SQL function, and under the hood, this is securely processing my data. In just a few seconds, call transcripts are now in English. I don't need any knowledge of how the AI models work, how to deploy LLMs, or how to manage the underlying GPU infrastructure. Translate is one of many specialized functions in Snowflake Cortex that is suited for specific tasks that can use smaller, cost-effective models. Now that these are in English, it would be great to have a model pull out the most important details from each transcript so I don't have to read the whole thing. Snowflake Cortex summarize function can do this for us. Let's try it on one record. All right, scanning through this summary, it looks good, but I would actually like something a little more custom and a little shorter. It would be great if we specifically pulled out the product name, what part of the product was defective, and limited the summary to 200 words. This gets us into some fun topics like prompt engineering. Snowflake Cortex has a complete function that can help build the summary I want here. First, you start with a base model. We're choosing the LAMA2 model, which is 70 billion parameters. Then, you give it a prompt telling it how to customize the outputs. So the prompt that we wrote here quickly gives the summary that we're gonna want in JSON format with all that information pulled out. This looks great and is much faster to use and it'll help our agents identify these product quality issues quickly. But how do we actually prevent these quality issues from happening in the future? To do that, we could ask our customer service reps to go through these calls and then directly follow up with the supplier, alerting them to the quality issues and asking for improvements. We already have the summaries, but how are the agents going to figure out the details they need about each supplier? We do have an internal product and supplier wiki with a lot of details, but rather than making our customer service reps dig through a huge wiki website of text each time they need some information, we could build a chat pod so that they can ask questions about our suppliers in natural language. For this chat bot, we can start with the LAMA2 LLM, but we need to provide the model with the context of the information inside this supplier wiki. A popular approach to do this is via retrieval augmented generation. We provide this context to the model in the form of vector embeddings, and we can use our Snowflake Cortex function embed text to do this. After that, we can start asking it questions like, who are the suppliers of the Ski Max Pro 9000 helmets? So for any question, 
This function is going to take in that question as the prompt, convert it to embeddings, and retrieve the most relevant information by using one of the vector distance functions in Snowflake Cortex. In just a few lines of code, we can now chat with our supplier wiki to ask questions, and we did not need to convert it to a structured table. Now that we have a way to create call summaries and chat with our supplier wiki, let's make it come to life in an app that we can share with all the customer service reps in the company. Let's show off what we built. In this app, any customer service rep can drop in a call transcript and quickly get a custom summary. Then they need to get information and context about the suppliers behind the problem. So we enable that conversion with the Streamlit chat interface. Let's try it out. Let's paste any of those translated transcripts. And voila, here is my custom summary. A uh, broken jacket zippers it looks like, so that is not ideal for a cold winter. Uh, let's follow up and find out who is the supplier of this jacket zipper. We can just ask the question in plain English and we see that it is Alpine Equipment Company. All right, we'll follow up with them and talk about these issues. But before we do that, let's see, do they also supply any other parts we might need to discuss? Looks like there are a couple others, so we'll add that to the agenda. This is going to be amazing for Ski Gear Co. and accelerate our whole customer support org. In less than 10 minutes, we went from unstructured data in different languages to an LLM-enabled chat app for the whole company using Snowflake Notebooks, Snowflake Cortex, and Streamlit. Everything you saw happened within Snowflake. We never had to move data out of Snowflake's governed data boundary, manage infrastructure, or have in-depth knowledge of how the models work. We're looking forward to seeing what all of you can build with this.